home of Boardwalk and Baseball. This world-class amusement park brings together college and university sports scholars from across the nation to compete in Boardwalk and Baseball's Super Bowl of Sports Trivia, an ultimate test of sports knowledge. 32 collegiate teams battle in a head-to-head -head single elimination tournament to determine the first ever national champion of sports trivia. At stake, a total prize purse of $50,000. And now, the host of Boardwalk and Baseball's Super Bowl of Sports Trivia, Chris Berman. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Boardwalk and Baseball Super Bowl of Sports Trivia. We look for our first national championship team of sports trivia, and today we have our first second round match. We started with 32 teams. We are down to 16, and among the survivors are, from Ohio, the Zips of Akron. And also among the survivors, the guys in red. You won't miss them at all. The Hoosiers from Indiana. And we congratulate you on getting this far, and we should have a lot of fun. The players know already, but you folks at home should know that the first round of our competition, just simple five-point questions. You buzz, you get it right, you get five points. You get an, uh, an extra point question for your team. You get that right, too, you get another five. If you miss it, the other school has a chance to win. And so we have an Ohio, a, a kind of a neighboring or a nearby state's bowl, the Zips and the Hoosiers classic basketball matchup. And now we go on to baseball, so good luck players, hands on the buzzers, and uh, here we go. We will start with baseball. In 1987, he became the only National League player ever to win an MVP award while playing for a last Indiana Walter. Andre Dawson. Andre Dawson, last place right. teams the Cubs. <laughs> Extra point question. Among major league teams, baseball teams, only two of names that do not end in the letter S. Name both teams. The Chicago Red Sox and the Boston White Sox. Well, I can't allow that because it's, uh, right? That's the Boston Red Sox and the Chicago White Sox. And obviously, you knew that, but sometimes the mouth doesn't do what the brain wants. In our business, we know that very, very well. You still lead five to nothing. Sorry about that one, JT. That's all right. Your teammates will get you for you later. Uh, football for both questions. Both teams, see? Franco Harris and Lydell Mitchell starred for what? Akron. Penn State. Penn State is correct. And your extra point question. In 1976, this pro football quarterback set an NFL record when he threw 151 passes, was intercepted only once. Who that? Joe Ferguson. Yes, that's right, Tom. Joe Ferguson. Be that. Thank you. Our tennis question, which is a visual one at home, you'll see it on your screens. Contestants on the monitor, one year at a Grand Slam tournament. She did everything. Beat Chris Everett, beat Martina Navratilova. Look at this Czech star. Tell me what year she put everything together to win the U.S. Open. Indiana, JT. 1986. I'm sorry, that's not right. Akron, buzz if you want. Akron, Tom. 1985. Yes, 1985 is right. And your extra point tennis question, Zips. What type of surface is utilized in the French Open tennis tournament? Clay. Clay is right. Slow red clay. Roland Garros Stadium. Baseball to both schools now. This San Francisco giant outfielder is affectionately known by sports writers as correctional facility face. Who is this sullen slugger? Indiana JT. Jeff Leonard. Jeffrey Leonard is correct. Penitentiary face, correctional facility face. Doesn't smile a lot. And your extra point question. Which all-time great Yankee second baseman caught Willie McCovey's legendary liner to end the 1962 Bobby. World Series? Richardson. Bobby Richardson is right. The line drive almost took him out into right center field with the winning runs on base, second and third. McCovey with two outs against Ralph Terry. Hit it to Richardson. We Giant fans know that because we came close, but again, we lost. The Super Bowl to both squads. What Super Bowl team scored the most points in a game? Indiana JT. The Chicago Bears. That's right. They had 46 against the Patriots. Your extra point question. What was the first team in football to appear in three straight Super Bowls? Miami Dolphins. Yes, that's correct. For five more points, you take the lead, 25 to 20. Boxing to both schools. 
Heavyweight Teofilo Stevenson is the only boxer in history to win the gold medal at three different Olympics. What is Stevenson's native country? Indiana Walter. Cuba. Cuba is correct. All right. And your extra point question. Who was Muhammad Ali fighting on February 18, 1978, when actress Edie Williams streaked the ring? Leon Spinks. Neon Leon Spinks. That's correct. For five points. Football now for both squads. Normally, how many years must a player be retired? Act five. Mike. Five years before he could get voted into the Hall of Fame. That's right. And your extra point question, football, Akron. In 1977, a seventh official was added to the NFL field. What was this official called? You have five seconds. Umpire. Umpire. No, the umpire was already there. He's the number two man, the line judge. That's tough, was the seventh official. Okay, hit the slopes for both squads. In 1967, World Cup skiing competition was instituted. This handsome, flamboyant European promptly... Indiana Walter. Jean-Claude Keeley. Jean-Claude Keeley won the first two men's titles. That's correct. Thank you very much. And uh, Olympics, your uh, extra point question. What are the heights of the two ski jumps used at World Cup and Olympic and competition? 70 and 90 meters. 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 That's right. 70 and 90 meters. You got it. He's, he, you're getting mic shy. I know, JT. All right. Baseball for both schools. During regular season baseball games, Four umpires are deemed adequate to ensure fairness, but how many umpires? Akron, Kevin. Six. Six in the World Series, that's right. Down the left and right field lines, of course, your extra point question. When Rick Monday hit a bases empty two out homer in the ninth inning to clinch the 1981 National League title, who was the pitcher who threw that gopher ball? Tom, we need an answer. Tug McGraw. No, I'm sorry. Steve Rogers, the best the Expos had in the ninth inning, and it was the Dodgers' Rick Monday who hit the home run. Baseball, the both schools now. Name the brilliant young pitcher who spent the first month of the 1987 season in a treatment, Akron Kevin. Dwight Gooden. That's right. Treatment center. He still won 15 games for the Mets. And your extra point question zips. In 1987, baseball arbitrator Arvid Anderson made some history when he ruled that this player was entitled to the largest salary ever awarded by arbitration. The salary was $1,975,000. Name the player, excuse me, it was $1,000. He also made some news. $1,975,000. Name the player who won that salary. Don Mattingly. That's correct. If the uh, arbitrator gave him $1,900, he would have been one annoyed camper, that's for sure. That's correct, and you pulled it within five. Indiana 45, Akron 40. First of our second round matchups here at Boardwalk in Baseball. We'll be right back. SeaWorld, an overview. seen it before there's a new place in florida that everyone's screaming about a place with exciting games and thrill-packed rides a place built on a new idea there should be something fun for everyone the place is boardwalk and baseball florida's newest attraction for the kind of fun that never gets old The boys of summer are at it again. Stay in the swing of things with Major League Baseball Magazine every Monday on ESPN. I'm Chris Berman and welcome back to the Super Bowl of Sports Trivia as Indiana leads Akron in a tight ball game, 45 to 40. And you figure uh, before we move on, we should meet the players. You figure, what's Akron doing playing in Indiana? But let's face it, guys, in the first round, 
you beat Cal Berkeley, so you've already disposed of a Pac-10 school. Now you're after a Big Ten school. I guess you like to shoot big, right, Kevin? Yeah, that's right. My name is Kevin Pierce. I am from Maslin, Ohio. I am a 21-year-old senior uh, going into mass media communications, like in sports broadcasting. I'd like to join you on a set of ESPN someday, Chris. We'll see if we can make some room. I'll move Mies out of there, no problem. <laughs> Tom, you're up. Hi, I'm Tom Bandwin from Seven Hills, Ohio. I'm a 20-year-old junior majoring in electrical engineering. Hi, I'm Mike Vargo from the Magic City of Barberton, Ohio. I'm a 22-year-old senior, and my major is accounting. And I'd like to say hi real quick to Dad and Linda and uh, all the guys at Tough Bodies. All right, so the Akron Zips going to uh, try to beat the Big Ten school. But I think, Indiana, you might have something to say about it. Now, last time, Jay, you had, what, the red shirts? This time, the red sweaters. We got everything red? Yeah, we, yes, we do. In case we have to go that far, we okay. have a full wardrobe. It's good to know that you're prepared. <laughs> uh, Coach Knight would be proud of you. Uh, my name is Jay Fitzwater. I'm from Hamilton, Ohio. I'm a 21-year-old junior and majoring in telecommunications. And I'm J.T. Smith. I'm from Morton Grove, Illinois, which is just outside of Chicago. I'm a 20-year-old junior majoring in telecommunications, and you can't see right now, but our sweaters are pulled up over our stomach. <laughs> Go ahead, a la night. Go ahead, Walter. My name is Walter Hollinger. I'm a 21-year-old senior from Mawa, New Jersey, and my major is business management. All right, I've seen that sign many times on the turnpike, Mawa. You didn't make it up. I know that for sure. Welcome aboard. Second round, the rules are the same, except the questions are worth 10 points, as you players already know, okay? Football, we start out with, with Indiana leading by five in 1970. I lied. It's baseball. In 1976, for the first time in baseball history, a game was rained out in a covered stadium. Indiana Walter. The Houston Astrodome. Yes, that's right. In time... There was so much rain outside, the parking lot was underwater. Nobody could get to the game, including the team bus. Uh, extra point. In spite of their tendency to wind up in the cellar, this baseball team boasts a stadium with the largest seating capacity in the big leagues. What team is this? Cleveland Indians. That's right. The Tribe. 76,713 in Municipal Stadium. Often those fans come disguised as empty seats. Uh, football for both squads. This Heisman winner out of USC had his finest season as a pro, and he led the NFL in rushing during the 80 Akron. Tom. O.J. Simpson. I'm sorry, that's not right. He led the NFL in rushing, Indiana. Buzz, if you know, during the 87 season. Who was that? J.T. Charles White. Yes. Charles White certainly did. Your extra point question, uh, Indiana. Name the running back who set an NFL record by rushing for 191 yards in a Super Bowl. Michael? 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 Go ahead, JT. Larry Zonka. I'm sorry. Another USC back, Marcus Allen, did it for the Raiders uh, against the Redskins in Tampa that year. Basketball, a visual question. Uh, he's wearing a Kings hat here, but take a look at this man and name the team with which he spent his glory days. Indiana, JT. The Boston Celtics. Boston Celtics, of course, that is Bill Russell. You lead 85 to 40. Here's your 10 point to extra point question. When Michael Jordan scored 63 points in a playoff game against the Celtics in 1986, he broke a record that had stood for more than 20 years. Whose playoff record did Jordan break? Go ahead, JT. Elgin Baylor? Yes, that is correct. Elgin Baylor of the Lakers. Baseball now for both schools. This slugger has 2,459 strikeouts more than any player in Indiana J. Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson is correct. Baseball. Extra point question, Indiana. Name two of the first five players to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Two of the first five. Ty Cobb and Babe Ruth. Yes, that's correct. Pretty impressive list. Ty Cobb, Babe Ruth, Conus Wagner, Walter Johnson, and Christy Mathewson, the first five to go into Cooperstown. All right, football now for both schools. In Super Bowl I, the Kansas City Chiefs were quarterbacked by which man? Akron Mike. Len Dawson. Len Dawson is correct. Extra point question. Whom was a, foot, a football question? Whom was broadcaster Tim McCarver describing when he said, quote, only in America could somebody with so few teeth eat his way into our hearts to the tune of $10,000 per pound in endorsements. William Perry. William Perry. The fridge. The one and only fridge. The ever enlarging fridge. Baseball. Both squads. When the Minnesota Twins won the 87 World Series, who was their manager? Mike Akron. Gardner. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Indiana, if you wanted to. Uh, Jay. Kelly. Tom Kelly. 
He's so anonymous that a lot of people don't know that Tom Kelly was the manager. A visual extra point question, Indiana. Fate is strange. The fate of baseball manager is even stranger. Look at this picture. Tell me what happened to this manager in 1979 after his team had won five pennants and two World Series in the last seven years. His contract was not renewed. Essentially, he was fired. That is correct. Sparky Anderson, see you later with the Reds. And, of course, he went on to the Tigers where he won another couple of pennants and world championship. Football for both teams. Four signing on as coach of the Green Bay Packers. Vince Lombardi was an offensive coach for which pro team? Indiana JT. The Washington Redskins? No, nope, that was afterwards. Uh, Akron, Buzz, if you know. Kevin, Akron. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys? No, Dallas Cowboys weren't around then. It was... The New York Giants, where he was uh, an assistant coach, along with Ali Sherman, was another assistant coach back then in the 50s, and Landry was around then, too. All right, Olympics, uh, going to both schools. For 12 years, 1956 to 1968, one Olympic athlete completely dominated Akron. Al Mike. Order. Al Order won the discus four times in a row. That's very good. And your extra point attempt. Who is the, the ball is snapped, the kick, the, it's held. Who is the only American to win the Olympic pole vault more than once? That's tough. Go ahead, Tom, give it a shot. No idea. Bob Richards. And I guess if uh, we won the Olympic pole vault more than once, uh, we'd be on Wheaties, too, for all those years. That's the end of the second round. Uh, Indiana leads Akron 135-70. to 70. We've got two rounds to go yet in our matchup between the Hoosiers and the Zip, so we'll be right back. If you own a house... All of these people are shopping for a car. Many of them have discovered that most car dealers have something to hide. Well, at Avis Car Sales, you'll find that our super low sticker prices are clearly displayed on all of our Great Lake model used cars. 100% financing is available to qualified buyers, and there's never any sales pressure. So if you're tired of those nasty surprises you get at other dealerships, try Avis Car Sales. We've got nothing to hide. Avis Car Sales. Introducing Alpine's newest sound system. It has all the quality and the line of performance you've come to expect from Alpine. But this system has more than the Alpine touch. It has its own distinctive sound. The Alpine mobile security systems. The new sound of Alpine. Loved by almost everyone. Available as stereo on wheels, now with three locations, 6388 North Dixie, 3666 State Route 725, and our newest location at 400 Woodman Drive. Around the Arctic is so harsh and unforgiving, few ever visit, except for killer whales. Young whales and old, large and small, families playing and loving and frolicking and relaxing and doing all the things that make killer whales killer whales. Of course, few people will ever see the whales in the Arctic. Everyone, however, can see them at SeaWorld. The NHL's Cold War heats up. The battle for the Stanley Cup is underway with the divisional playoffs. The action continues tonight, live on ESPN. All right, thank you, players. You're allowed to do the wave if you want. Actually, you're not allowed to do the wave. Indiana leads Akron. 135 to 70, and we go to round three where the rules change, as you players already know, because you've won a round those already. Four categories, baseball, football, basketball, or sports page. Uh, you get to choose a category, and uh, at that point I will ask your team a uh, question from that category. You have five seconds to confer. The captain will give me the answer. If it's right, it's ten points. If not, it goes over to the other school. If they have a crack at that question then from one of their own category. The way we do it is the team behind. Uh, Tom gets to choose whichever of the four you like, and so Akron will go with what? We'll take basketball, Chris. And you've got basketball. We're very easy here on this show. Indiana, JT, what do you think? How about baseball? How about baseball? You still like those socks, right? You... <laughs> I know. You'll never live it down. We love you. Okay. We will start with Akron and a basketball question. Here you go. Until the rules changed in 1936, what happened after every single field goal in a basketball game? It was a jump ball. They had a jump ball. Hard to get the running game going back then. <laughs> Baseball for Indiana. In 1981, when Nolan Ryan broke Sandy Koufax's record for Major League no-hitters, what unfortunate team did Ryan blank? 
the Dodgers? That's correct. Oddly enough, it was Koufax's old team, the Dodgers. Basketball for Akron. In 1950, Nat Sweetwater Clifton and Chuck Cooper became the first black players in the brand new NBA when they were acquired by two East Coast teams. Name one of the two teams who drafted the first black pro players. Either one. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Tom. Boston. Boston was one of them. That uh, had Chuck Cooper. Sweetwater Clifton played for the Knicks. Oh, I know I do remember that. Baseball, yeah. Indiana. In 1975, manager Alvin Dark was trying to tune his pitching staff for the league championship series upcoming. So we used four different pitchers in a game in the last week of the regular season. Combine the four pitch to no hitter. Name the team Dark was managing. A's, A's. The A's. It was the A's. That's correct. Vita Blue, Paul Lindblad, Raleigh Fingers, and Glenn Hay Abbott combined on a uh, on a no hitter. Basketball to both schools. In uh, excuse me, to Akron. In 1934, Notre Dame and New York University played in the first intercollegiate basketball tournament, which was held in this famous sports arena. Name that arena. Madison Square Garden. That's right, the old Madison Square Garden. That's correct. <laughs> Baseball for Indiana. This big league ex-Yankee turned sportscaster was known as Scooter during his playing days. Who is it? Phil Rizzuto. Holy cow, you got it. <laughs> Basketball for Akron. The very first commissioner of the NBA appointed in 1946 was this man who had been serving as president of the American Hockey League. Today, the most valuable player in the NBA receives a cup named after that first commissioner. Can you name him? Tough. Tom, your answer? Nate Give it a go. Nate Smith. Nate Smith. It is a name, but that wasn't it. Indiana, do you know? We knew it, but we forgot it. <laughs> One of those things. It was Maurice Podoloff. Uh, that was, of course, the first commissioner uh, of the NBA. Baseball goes to Indiana now. St. Louis Cardinal Hall of Famer Jay Hanna Dean sported the nickname Dizzy. What nickname was given to his teammate and brother Paul? Daffy. Daffy. Daffy Dean is correct for 10 points. Akron, here's your basketball question. In 1950, this New York college became the first and only college to win both the NCAA and the NIT tournaments in the same year. Can you name that school? CCNY. City College of New York. Very good. And Indiana, a baseball question. In 1964, Houston pitcher Ken Johnson became the only pitcher in Major League history to lose a complete game, nine-inning no-hitter in a game against the Cincinnati Reds. Can you name the young player who came home on an error for the win for the Reds? Pete Rose. Pete Rose, 64. Pete Rose? Was Pete Rose. And that's the end of round three. You guys did very well. Indiana leads Akron 185 to 110, but we have the 100-second dash to victory which teams can come from behind in a hurry. So come back to Boardwalk and Baseball, won't you? You know, I love to watch the people who come here to SeaWorld. Hmm, they never dress up. Yeah, and where are their feathers? And look how they get around. I know! Why don't they use their tummy? And those hairdos? Yeah! I see a riot! <laughs> <laughs> I could stand here forever and watch these folks at SeaWorld's new people encounter. Well, actually, it's the new penguin encounter. Now open at SeaWorld. Okay, listen up. Oakley here's filling in the ball tonight. For three years, okay. Bill Oakley Thank took you. orders. Up the but tonight, hey, all the help we get. Are you he's got to stand up and take charge. You make America work. Here's to you, the clean, crisp taste of Beechwood-aged Budweiser. For all the guys who know it's not what you say, but what you do. This bird's for you. And back at Ford Walk and Baseball Super Bowl of Sports Trivia, Indiana leads Akron 185 to 110, but a whole lot of shaking goes on, as Jerry Lee Lewis once sang, in our 100-second dash to find a winner. I will ask as many questions as I can uh, in 100 seconds. You buzz in, you're first, I call on you. You get it right, you're up 10. If you get it wrong, you lose 10 points for your team, and we'll uh, resolve all the wrong answers afterwards. The audience, please hold your applause on this section because the players have to get their thinking toques on. So, 
without much further ado with Indiana in the lead Akron trying to catch up you guys ready hands on buzzers I hold in your hand my hand your fate All right, let's get ready to start the clock now on a baseball diamond which base is called the keystone Akron Kevin first base I'm sorry that's wrong in professional football how many yards is the team penalized for offensive holding Akron Tom 10 that's correct which Major League Baseball team is spurred on by fans dubbed the Bleacher Bums? Akron Kevin. Cleveland. I'm sorry, that's wrong. Which horse holds the track record for winning the Kentucky Derby in the fastest? Indiana JT. Secretary. That's correct. Name the baseball reliever who was the winning pitcher in the 78 and 79 All-Star Games. Indiana JT. Bruce Suter. That's correct. What is the oldest field used in the National Football League? Indiana Walter. Soldier Field. That's correct. In 1941, Ted Williams batted 406 but lost. The MVP award. Joe DiMaggio. Uh, Joe DiMaggio. Mike, that's right. Joe DiMaggio. Whom did Cassius Clay hit with his famous phantom punch in 19... Tom Ackerman. Sonny Liston. That's correct. When O.J. Simpson won the Heisman Trophy in 1968, what college did he... Akron Kevin. USC. USC's correct. International Football League game. From what yard line is the ball kicked off? Indiana Walter. The 35. That's correct. What pro hockey team did Bobby Orr help to turn into a Stanley Cup championship? Indiana JT. The Boston Bruins. That's correct. What was the given first name of baseball pitcher Satchel Page? We'll move on. What is the nickname of the teams at the University of Miami? Indiana J. Hurricane. That's correct. Name one of the two yachts which raced in the finals for the 1987 Americas. Indiana JT. America 2. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. In 1987, which pro basketball star became the first player ever to win the MVP award in three championship series? Akron Mike. Magic Johnson. That's correct. In 19... I'm sorry, the whistle, the time is up, and Indiana has defeated the Zips of Akron in our second round match. Have to move on to third round play. We'll be back to wrap it up after I tell you about the wrong answers, okay? The two yachts that raced for the America's Cup were uh, Stars and Stripes or Kookaburra, too, for the uh, Australians. Uh, Leroy Satchel Page was his first name. Major League Baseball, the Bleacher Bums, the Chicago Cubs, you probably knew that. And on a baseball diamond, second base is the Keystone base. And we'll be back to wrap it up now at Boardwalk and Baseball in a moment. You do the best you can do. Your best quality Ford dealer has a winning deal on the Ford Taurus. Right now, buy a Taurus and get a $750 cash bonus direct from Ford. Combine your bonus with a special option package and you save $1,250. That's a value you can only get at your best quality Ford dealer. Ford dealers, quality for life. Legal representation. It's hard work and dedication that can make a difference. The lawyers of Sutton, Overholzer, and Schaefer have been working hard at making that difference since 1972. They have the dedication it takes to represent your personal injury claim. If you've been injured as the result of another person's negligence, call the lawyers of Sutton, Overholzer, and Schaefer at 228-0880 to arrange a free consultation. Sutton, Overholzer, and Schaefer. Let their hard work and dedication make a difference for you. It's a stepping stone to greatness. Every week, Budweiser presents the best young fighters in the business. Top Rank Boxing puts you in the ring where champions are made. Live Friday nights on ESPN. This is ESPN, the total sports network. Baseball Super Bowl of Sports Trivia. Indiana doing what comes naturally. They have won again. Indiana beating the Zips of Akron 235 to 140, but you won one round, fellas. We wish you the best of luck and thanks for being good sports. All right, Indiana, now you go on to the third round in a matchup between Oklahoma and Temple. So we will see you in that round. A deal? 
And we're going to make one more deal. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time at the Super Bowl of Sports Trivia. See ya. Get table here or a comfortable chair there. But knowing what you need and finding what you want, now that's two different players are beginning Monday at 5.30 on TV2 News. Planet upset. He just said, no, I'm not going to do it. And you don't want to end up in court. It's been a lot of trouble for us. All the effort we've had to put in. What are some of the most common problems facing you, the consumer? From credit cards to car repair, you need to know what your rights are. Turn to two. Investigate your right to know. Watch this special report beginning Monday at 5.30 on TV2 News. 30 minutes. Did a Dayton gynecologist secretly perform surgery on his patients? We'll hear from some of them. The murder trial of a man accused of brutally killing his father and brother gets underway. You can find out how to make small claims court work for you in our special report tonight, Your Right to Know. And find out where your favorite team ranks on the Operation Football Poll. That's all coming up on TV2 News tonight at 5.30. Diane's old... All the candidates are on the campaign trail. We'll follow them. We'll visit a one-of-a-kind farm where some rare yet familiar friends are being saved.